In this video, we're going to investigate a bunch of different types of statements that are related to conditionals. And the first of these is going to be the contrapositive. Now, what we have here is, is one implication, what we've seen before. And then we're saying that this is logically equivalent to a different type of implication. And this is going to allow us to take some mathematical sentence that is expressed as a conditional and rewrite it as some other conditional that perhaps might be easier to work with, or maybe it's harder to work with. But either way, it's going to be logically equivalent to it. Now to see why this might be true, we might remember that P implies Q that we have seen that this thing is logically equivalent to not P or Q. Likewise, I can do something with the not Q implies not P. I'm going to try to do the same logical equivalence here. So what it is, is it's equivalent to a disjunctive, to an or statement, where first of all, I negate the first one. And if I'm negating not Q, that's a double negative, not not Q. So that's just going to be Q. And then Q or the second of the two, which is not P, so Q or not P. So I've taken my two different conditionals, I've rewritten them as two different or statements, and then these two different or statements are the same thing, because they're just the same thing but in other, the other order. And we know that an or statement doesn't matter which comes first, which comes second. So since these are going to be logically equivalent, so too are these. So let's see how this works out in the context of a couple different sentences. First of all, we have our old favorite, if I study hard, then I will pass. So this was going to be our P implies Q. And then we know that we can rewrite the statement in its disjunctive form using an OR statement saying either I didn't study hard or I'm going to pass. And so I'm going to put this as the not P or Q form. By the way, I'll note that there's a few tense issues going on here. In the, in the first statement, the I will pass is like a future event. In the second statement, it's a present event, I pass, and in the past, I didn't study hard. Uh, the tense issues are just a little bit of uh, our, our English trying to deal with what these statements are, the P and the Q. So we don't have to really worry about them. I'm just going to always rewrite my statements in a way that makes sense in English. But I don't mean anything different about them from a logical perspective. I'm still going to say I will pass and I pass are both the statement Q in my mind. So next up, I want to try to investigate this side of this conditional. The not Q implies not P. And I'm going to claim it's this. If I don't pass, then I didn't study hard. And the reason why this works is the I don't pass portion of it. So I don't pass is negating I pass. So when I talk about I will pass, if I negate that, it says I will not pass. And, and except for the tense issue, I don't pass. Likewise, I didn't study hard is negating I study hard. So what we have down here is a not Q implies not P. And then finally, I can take this, the contrapositive, what I just have here, and I can write the contrapositive in its disjunctive form as either I did pass or I didn't study hard. And so when I have it in this form, it is of the form Q or not P. Either I passed or I didn't study hard. Now, the important point here is that all four of these different sentences are logically the same thing. They mean precisely the same claim that there's this sort of initial thing that's the studying hard. And the studying hard results in this sort of future thing, the passing. However, there's one sentence on this list that's not here. You'll notice that nowhere on this list is the statement, if I pass, then I studied hard. Nowhere on this list is Q implies P. And that's because if I passed, it might not have been that I studied hard, for example. I don't really need to study this course. I could probably go and write the test right now. So for myself, I don't need to study hard to pass this particular course. This is usually not the case for students. But the implication here is if you do study hard, then you will pass. Not that if you passed, you must have studied hard. So keep in mind that, well, these sort of four statements, which all look a little bit different, logically mean the same thing. Not every way that you can write this is going to be the same. And we're going to see quite a bit more examples of that in a moment.